Oh, well, that's interesting. If I open the cow, it goes away. What is this? Are you guys seeing this? I have fuel pump ability. I open the cow and it goes away. WTF, man. That's slightly infuriating. <laughs> All right, so now that we figured out our Xeon pumping conundrum, <laughs> that is beyond ridiculous. And I don't think it's supposed to work that way but okay i suppose it is broken and would need to be corrected so let's go ahead and drop off our kerbal it even stops pumping if you open up a secondary menu wow that is definitely got to be a bug okay let's open this up because we're going to need our blade pitch let's go ahead and get everything cranking here all right let's get off the ground and let's drop off our kerbal all right we're gonna go with a nice aggressive acceleration here Alright, swing on down, let's drop this dude off, and let's get back for some snacks. Perfect landing. <laughs> that was aggressive, but it worked really well. Alright, so we need to wait for our propeller blades to slow down, because Kerbals eject they don't get out of their seat. If you look at this, our force percentage is very low. No ejection force, but still when he leaves the seat. <laughs> ah, he does so with such aggressive force. It is absolutely hilarious. All right, so we don't need you right now. We're gonna do our normal Kerbal. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna board. Okay, so what we have to do is now we're going to be, um, all of our weight's going to be in the middle, but we need to pump fuel up front to simulate our Kerbal being there. So let's go ahead and get rid of that cow. Let's pump fuel to the front. And this one should now be fueling up. All right, pumping is done. Now we can bring back out our cow. And let's go ahead and throttle up. And we should be able to lift off the ground pretty quickly. Since we don't want to be around here when that thing lifts off. And we are gone. And that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I love the control on this chopper. It just swings right back around. And that's really good for a chopper that is using fuel to simulate a Kerbal being placed in a certain location. And also, it's really nice for a chopper that is able to be stored away to handle so wonderfully. So we're going to go up here and we're going to have a nice little lunch on the top of the VAB. But we're going to want to swing around because we do want to see them launch. We don't want to miss that rocket launch. So let's go like that. And let's keep bringing her on down. And nice touchdown. And now you can see it all from here. That is absolutely wonderful. And since we're not going to launch it again, we can go ahead and store it away. So what we want to do is go here, grab our fold. And we're going to set it to reverse. 
and go ahead and show you it packing it away. And there you go. There's your chopper packed away and ready to just watch the launch. So if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, drop me in the comment, let me know what you think about the stowaway compact chopper, compact counter prop chopper. And hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, drop me in the comment, let me know what you think. Also, if you've seen that fuel pump issue before, I, I maybe it's a meant to do that thing. I think it's a bug but it may not be a bug. I'm pretty sure it's a bug. I'm fairly sure it's a bug. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Show you that fold one more time here. And that's right. That is a fun system. There's two pistons in there to make sure it gets high enough so it doesn't cut off a Kerbal's head in the process. Just for sake of realism. <laughs> If you like to see and hit that like button, drop me in the comment. Let me know what you think, and I hope to catch you guys in the next video. For now, it's your boy Jatuan. I'm out. Peace.